Hi everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Today I had to move again because there is another wedding. Besides the wedding, um, I'm feeling really bad today. I have like nauseous and being a bit uh, dizzy uh, and a lot of headache. So, um, I already know why my body is like this, so don't worry. I'm trying to put it in order. So sorry if I don't have the energy or the mood as always to speak. Um, but anyway. Um, so topic for today related to the feet, the ankles, is when. As all in the European languages, where comes from the position of an object? Talking about the position of an object. As I was saying in the blog, but also as I said some other moments, all the reality is basically a hologram. So it's not real as we perceive it, it's a hologram. And this hologram is constituted by two constants. Space in, in the European language means to throw. Time, in, in the European language, means to expand. So as you see, time and space are not related to physical things. They are describing the process through where the physical things move through. So space is not equal matter. The reality is constituted by patterns and those patterns creates a matrix that we call matter so matter the things exist because of patterns for example one pattern is an atom an atom is constituted by a pattern this pattern is, for example, an electron and a pro and a, sorry, and a proton, an electron and a proton. We have here one pattern, usually also with a neutron. So we have three things. And when this replicates itself many times, so many atoms in the same way they conform an element or a compost in chemistry. So we have these uh, patterns that creates a matrix of many of these ones that all of them creates the matter. So in this way, we can relate that the patterns are the ones that gives origin to the matter. Even though the patterns are like the base of the matter, the patterns only exist because of a network, with the, which we call a matrix. So without a matrix, a network of patterns, patterns cannot create matter. So matter is basically the creation of the matrix, a matrix of patterns. In this concept of understanding the pattern, the pattern is like this code that replicates once and again and follows one line. So it keeps going in the same line. And this is an image that the ancient people gave to the father because the father 
which in, in, in the European language is pater, was the one that guided everyone and conducted everyone into one direction. It was the one that was um, bringing the, um, the people in one direction, the family, the group, leading them. So that's why the idea of pattern comes from pater, which is father. So all the patterns that repeat are related to the energy of the father. So matter comes from the in the European word mater that means mother. So matter means the things that has a weight that has been created that has become something. So as we can see here, matter emerges from patterns of atoms. These patterns can only exist due to a network. And this matrix, this network, is connected by two constants, time and space. Hmm? So here you have it registered here in the video. So reality comes from the Latin word res. That means something, a thing. So a thing is thrown through the space. Space is this vacuum through where the things move through and it expands and transforms by the aspect of time. You remember that we have spoken about this, the network between time and space. Yeah. <clears throat> so, important thing to understand here time and space are not places through where the things move. Time and space are the constant of the matter. This means that without matter, there is no time and no space. So this means that time and space doesn't exist in the mind of the universe. Time and space only exist in the manifestation of that mind. Hmm? This is how um, we can get now to the question of why we are here if there is nothing really, if there is, if everything is holographic and time and space doesn't really exist. So let's remember the example that I did today in the blog. So we, we spoke yesterday that, um, that the reason why we really are here is because there was one particle or one option of the particle that has been manifested. And why it has been manifested? Because our consciousness and mind watching that particle or that option of the particle. Remember that there is only one particle expressed in many 
uh, options of time and space and our mind, our consciousness, watch one of those options. So it manifested that option. So we are the option of one particle that doesn't exist, but because we are staring at it, we manifest it. What we have here doesn't really exist. What exists is the microcosmos where nothing really applies the laws of physics. So anything there in the microcosmos can be whether a wave, whether a particle can be zero or one, it doesn't matter, it's all relative. So the only thing that makes the macrocosmos exist is the attention of the mind in only one of those options, in only one of those possibilities. So this means that everything that exists in the third dimension, in the matter, only exists as a projection, as an option of only one particle or wave that is vibrating. And the best way to understand this, I guess, is with the example of the sun and the sea. We have here a beautiful sunset in the waves of the sea. What is here? The sun is a particle. And what is the sea? Is the waves. Hmm? So here we have the particles and the waves together. So what we see here in this, when we go to the sea and see the sun set on the waves, we will see that the sun is like replicating itself in the different waves, like a mirror um, of the light. When we go and see the ocean and the waves and the sun setting, we will see like kind of if the sun is replicated by many in the waves of the ocean, mm? many reflections, many waves, many suns. Mm? So now, even if the sun is on the back and we are looking, staring at the sea in front of us, the light of the sun will be reflected to our eyes by many in every one of the waves. Mm? So, from different point of views, the reflection would be in our eyes anyway. Mm -hmm. So, this means that only one sun is replicated, reflected by thousands in each one of the waves of the ocean. And we have five oceans. Mm -hmm. So everything that exists in the reality are just reflections of only one sun. And depending on the vibration of the wave, this reflection will be in one way or another. This is why even if we are all one, each one of us is unique. So the question here would be, where? Where am I in this? Where am I going to? Where I come from? 
in this system if everything if all existence is just a reflection in our point of view of humans we have the belief that we have to move because we come from one place and we are heading to another place. So we move constantly. So because of a simple human and physical aspect, we have this belief that we have to come from somewhere and we have to go somewhere. But when we start to look into the other reality, we suddenly figure out that we don't have to go anywhere and we never came from anywhere that we have always been where we are supposed to be so this is why we can hear sometimes that we are always where we are supposed to be it's not that romantic the idea it's actually like that it's in the microcosmos it's like that you have always been where you are supposed to be because it's the only place possible so now, when we understand this, we usually go into the opposite side of this belief. And we start to say, well, if everything is one and I am always where I'm supposed to be, so why to move? Why to travel? Why to do this? Or why to go somewhere, to go back to a, to a source? Why if I am always where I'm supposed to be and I am just a projection? And when we ask these questions is when we again start to see the reality through the point of view of humans and the question where. We have been deciding, designing this reality through the patterns of a human, of a family. So we said that the matter is the mother that creates us all and the father is the patterns that guide us here. So that's why through time and space, we were looking for these images of a God that is our father and a goddess that is our mother. And we also have to sign the idea of where, according to migrations, how humans have been moving through the planet. So what we have designed in history was according to our reality. We were living in a place that had bad things for us and we started to move forward to take a path to find the right place where we have food, safety and all these things. Isn't that very similar to the image of a hell the purgatory and heaven, the paradise. Hmm. This is the idea that we have created in the universe that we are coming from one place, heading to another one that we call coming back home. So what is the one that created the idea of where, of a spot, a place, actually has been that option of a particle that has been seen by the consciousness of the mind, of the universal mind. That's why that particle has been manifested in an atom, in a reality, in a place. So the thing here it's not that we are coming from one place heading to another. The thing here is that was the mind deciding to experience one place. So here is when we are getting the idea that each one of these places is not a place is an idea, is the conjunction of an idea. It's a network. 
is what we in the brain call a neuronal synapsis. Hmm? So the main idea, the observer, what it does is to create a path through this network, creating an, a new idea of itself, creating a new pattern, exactly as our brain does, designing path of information. So our brain works exactly like that. Our brain is a connection of neurons that are encoding data and information and they create like this path of information like these patterns of information of neurons that connect each other and they keep that data so it's much more useful for me to use it the next time so through the experiences through the experience of of doing something the brain designs a path to find faster the answers of that information. For example, I'm here speaking English because I learned English many years ago. I'm practicing English every day. So my brain has assigned a way to find the correct words and how to use them in order to transmit an idea. So I don't have to think about the words in English anymore because my brain already know how to find it because the path were taken already. So they are there. The universe works exactly the same. The universe also creates these patterns through the living beings, through us. All the creatures that exist in the universe, we move through, we connect with others, we speak with others, we travel to different places. We go to different places. That's why there are powerful places, initiatic paths along the planet. That's why we are moved to travel through the planet. Because we are the neurons connecting data, information for new thoughts. So to the question where, the answer is here. And to the question to where, the answer is everywhere. Because we expand in time. And we move through the space. This is why we are moved to go to places, to connect with sacred places, to know people, to exchange, to travel, because it's the way in which we are creating new data for the universe, creating new options. We are not coming from any place. We are not going anywhere. Here and now. I hope that with the information from yesterday with the question when and today with the question where, we can understand better why we say here and now. The vibration for today is Wu. The statement for today is I am the wisdom's vision.